just prior to November 1st, Google announced the Nexus 10, the Nexus 4, and the 32GB version of the Nexus 7. The Nexus 10 has extreme pixel density but only has a dual core processor. The Nexus 4 is a quad core processor but doesn't have 4G LTE. So it's interesting that both of these two devices are, um, are basically top of the line but they're, um, they each have their trade-offs. The Nexus 4 also is going to have very low battery life as a result of uh, quad core. On a side note, anyone who purchased the 16 gigabyte version of the Nexus 7 within the 15 day mark of the 29th of October will receive a $50 voucher from Google. So if you happen to be one of those people that falls under this price protection program, be sure to um, get Google to give you that voucher. Well, there's still rumors going on about the Facebook HTC phone and uh, it looks like it's going to be released in maybe mid-2013 according to these rumors so it'll be interesting to see if that actually happens and how well it does in comparison to phones that agree with Google Plus. In the third quarter of 2012, 75% of all smartphones shipped were Android devices. This really shows how much of the market Google controls and what the future is going to hold for Android as a whole. In the future, one major market is going to be smartphone accessories. One smartphone accessory that came out recently is the Oakley Airwave. This is basically a pair of goggles that um, connect to your phone and enable you to uh, have a GPS, Bluetooth, and a heads-up display. It's interesting how this is coming uh, so quick so soon before uh, Google Goggles is actually released. But as you see, you can basically use them while you're um, skiing. And it was posted on the Apple Store three days ago. So only $600 with free shipping, and you can choose your color. Similar to Oakley, DARPA wants to implement uh, Android powered helmets that have uh, basically cameras built into them to enable soldiers to have uh, night vision and infrared vision as well. well Android tablet share just jumped 41% from, uh, if you recall, it was around 13% last year. So this is pretty incredible. Last year I remember that uh, Apple was around 80% of the tablet market, so this is definitely a significant threat to Apple's iPad. The Samsung Galaxy S3 is now officially the number one selling phone of 2012, with uh, 30 million sales in five months. Three million Galaxy Note 2 units were sold in the last 30 days. This is incredible as it shows the amount of power that Samsung has over this NIC market. Apple and HTC settled today, signifying the um, beginning of Android manufacturers agreeing to uh, pay Apple to sell their products. So we'll see if this happens to anybody else and uh, whether or not it increases the price of Android phones for everyone. The Android 4.2 SDK was released today, so if you haven't yet, be sure to go and download your new SDK. Unfortunately, this one also has a fragmentation agree license agreement, so now nobody else is basically allowed to uh, fragment Android in any way. Here's just a little bit more information against uh, fragmenting. Basically, as of the new uh, 4.2 agreement, you're agreeing to uh, not take any action that will result in the fragmentation of Android, including but not limiting to distributing, participating in the creation of or promoting in any way a software development kit derived from the SDK. Basically, this is targeting people like uh, Alibaba that were creating their own operating system to make money off of Android. The Samsung Galaxy camera is now available on AT&T as of yesterday, so if you're um, in the market for a new phone, be sure to check out the Samsung Galaxy camera and uh, determine whether or not you like it. Um, it looks like it's expected that it uh, it's going to have a pretty low battery life, especially because it has a quad-core processor. So um, it'll be interesting to see what reviews for that are going to turn out like. As of a few days ago, the first MMO created by Google was officially announced. The name of this one is called Ingress. 
and uh, there's resistance and enlightened and basically you compete for objects to um, level up your player. Looks like Google might become its own wireless carrier uh, as a result of a um, potential agreement between Dish Networks and Google. This would be great as it would uh, potentially lower the costs of um, carrier service for everyone. So hopefully something like this goes through and hopefully Dish Networks service is decent enough to compete with the big three which is Sprint, um, AT&T, and uh, Verizon. Google's Book Scanner is now uh, open source so if you're interested in creating your own be sure to go to their website and uh, there's even a video on uh, how to use it and how to create it so if you're interested in scanning your all your books be sure to create this vacuum book scanner and scan them